Hello and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Joking Hazard, a cyanide and happiness card game made by Explosum. It is a 3 to 10 player game that takes roughly 30 to 60 minutes to play and is for ages 18 and up for immature content. Uh, in this game, you are playing a judging game of sorts. For those of you who know Cards Against Humanity, this is going to be played sort of like that. Uh, in the game, you're going to get seven cards in your hand, and you're going to be playing them down to create a panel, a comic panel, that is similar to the ones you'll see online by Cyanide and Happiness. And there's a judge, and that judge is going to select the best ending to the comic to determine uh, who the most creative or most funny person is in the group for each of the different unique comic panels. Once you score three cards from any way, shape, or form, uh, you're going to win the game. We'll talk about how to play and how to set the game up, and then of course, what I think about Joking Hazard by Cyanide and Happiness right now. I'm putting this setup together along with the how to play because this game is really straightforward, but basically you take all the cards out of the box and you place them in a big stack on the table. If you want, you can shuffle them. Then you'll deal out seven cards to each player playing the game. Uh, they also gave you some unique make your own cards that you can go ahead and add to the game box before or after you play the first game if you'd like. It's kind of like a add your own comic strip to the comic strip game. Uh, and after you've got your seven cards and a big stack of cards, well, you're ready to go. Choose a judge. That's going to be the first player to start the game and begin. So you've got your judge and you've got your players. And the judge is basically going to take one card from the big stack. I put them in three stacks just so you can see them better, but it basically would be a huge stack of cards. You could just take out a certain number of them. It really doesn't matter. But the judge will flip a card over. And the first thing you check is, is it a black card or is it a red card? Black cards have a black border, like this one here. And red cards have a red border, like this one here. If it is a black border, it's a normal game. A normal game is pretty simple. The player who is the judge will choose a card from their hand, place a card on the main card's left or right position, and then the other players are going to, in turn order, select a card from their hand. They'll select a card from their hand, they'll place it down uh, in the area of the end of the comic strip. So here we're having a four-player game. i got three cards here, in which case I'll take these cards, and if you want, you can go ahead and shuffle them. It just depends on what kind of house rules you want to set. And then you're going to have the judge reveal them, and in order, show off the comic strips. And as they show off the comic strips, players are going to kind of engage with the different strips. The judge will determine like how relevant it is or how funny it is. And eventually, they're going to come down to selecting one of the cards that has been played at the end of the comic strip to determine that is the best card for the strip. The player whose card is the best will get that card. The judge is basically going to choose that player. The rest of the cards will go to a discard pile, including the cards that were previously played by the judge. Now that player who got the card back, the player who is the winner of the strip, is one closer to victory, and if they get three, they win the game. It'll pass from one judge to the next player on the judge's left-hand side, and that player is going to do the same thing. Always remember, though, to always draw back up to a hand of seven cards, whether you're the judge or one of the players. Flipping over another card with a new judge, that new judge is going to select a strip from their hand and play it face up on the table after right hand side position. And always make sure that you check to see, is it a red bordered card? If it's a red bordered card, it's a little different. So if a red bordered card, one of these guys here, pops up onto the field and you are the judge, you'll actually go ahead and you can look at this little strip that has this little like, what you do when a thing happens. So it says that, um, it's a bonus round, okay? And every not, uh, so it says it's a bonus round, the judge does nothing. At this point, any, anyone may exchange any number of old cards for new ones. So if you don't like any of the cards you have in your hand, you can go ahead and discard those cards and then take up new cards into your hand. Then, it's still a different game mode, every non-judge player picks two cards that create a two panel setting uh, ending with the red card and plays them face down. Uh, so you go, okay, these are my two cards for the panel here, so the judge can look at it, and then maybe the next player after the judge is going to select two cards for the panel, and so on and so forth. So now you've got two cards in the front placed by all the players, and the last card is the red card. The judge will flip over the cards in order, hopefully in the player's order, and then read out the strips and determine who has made the best comic. And in this case, by selecting the cards, uh, a player can actually win two points. So if the judge over here thinks I did the best with mine, he'd give me these cards as the winning cards and the rest would go to the discard pile. And once again, a new judge would be created and you would draw back up to seven cards. That's it, that's the game. It's really, really simple, straightforward, kind of comic book making, judging style game. Most of you guys have played something like this, but maybe not a comic version of the game. Well, 
Is Joking Hazard worth picking up, or is it yet again just another judging game that you can choose for yourself? I played a lot of different judging games after uh, Cards Against Humanity and Apples to Apples have been made, and does this one live up to stuff? Let's, let's talk about it. I have been reading Cyanide and Happiness comics for quite some time now. It's a great way to jump online, see their newest comic strip, and then go back a few times and see what their latest ones were. They're always funny. They're definitely mature in content, so probably shouldn't be letting your kids watch read these. Some of them are a little less mature, um, or a little more. It just really depends on which one you're looking at. But they are for adults. They are like little comics, kind of like Happy Tree Friends, made for adults. Uh, they always have the same stick, stick figure type characters the guy in the uh, blue and the guy in the green, and they're just going through a small three strip, maybe even six strip uh, portion of a comic. It kind of reminds me of like the old Dilberts and the old, um, oh, the guy with the, 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 the fox, the, the, no, the tiger, and the, I'm gonna get in trouble here for not remembering this one, but you know those old newspaper type comics? That is what you're making in this game. You're gonna have a jumbled up set of cards in your hand, and you're gonna utilize those cards to create a comic strip with the help of an aid of your friends. And then the added aspect of the judge being able there to moderate and determine what the best form of comics that have been made. I, I am kind of, I'm gonna say I'm kind of bored of judging games. Judging games have been a thing that I've seen over and over again. They keep constantly being repeated with like a unique little twist. This one, however, is different, a lot different. You are actually creating a story and how you determine to place cards down will change that story. It's not all about picking what's the most funniest thing or what's gonna get that judge to laugh the most, and then sometimes it is. But in a lot of cases, it's about creating a coherent comic that is also funny. And the fact that all of these different strips work together in a first, second, or even last place position is really, really remarkable. Like this took some time and effort into thinking how to make not only a comic strip, but portions of comic strips that kind of attach and align to make a unique, interesting story that can be told by people that aren't you, people that didn't make the game, which is actually really, really unique. I also love the fact that they added the make your own cards. Normally in like card games like uh, Cards Against Humanity, it's not something I'm super into making my own cards, but because these are comic strips, these are like kind of a little bit of more of imagination as opposed to just try and make funny. You actually can make something that's super not funny and add it to these cards that are funny and in turn, when you put them together, it makes something even more funny. So there's a lot of combinations here that make things really, really interesting and really cool. Um, even still just making a comic strip that's like, maybe even kind of like, oh, it's funny because it's true type of a thing. It, it just does a whole lot of that. And I really, really like that. I haven't kept a whole lot of judging games. I know that the, the Cards Against Humanity guys, they sent me over their latest one, Headspace, which is actually a really cool game that is all about thinking together. And I really, really enjoyed that one even more than the main Cards Against Humanity. But this one here is actually one of those that's gonna stay in my collection as well because this is about making comics more so than judging. It's just about kind of creating and like utilizing the space that you have based on what is available to you to create something that's not only coherent, but also hopefully funny and engaging. In fact, what was crazy is I wanted even more as we were playing with this. I'm like, oh shoot, we've already went through all the cards. Like, I want even more of them. But in reality, there's so many different combinations with all of these cards that you're never gonna see the same combination twice, uh, unless you play this game pretty religiously. That being said, the artwork. Well, you're getting cyanide and happiness. The artwork is terrible, but that's the point. It's a circle with a square and then some arms and some legs, but the characters' faces are so unique and so interesting and in how the cards are presented to themselves. They're not always just straight up a character with some words. Sometimes you'll get some, a few curveballs where it's just them making kind of a, a look to each other that you can use as part of some other dialogue that has been given to the game. Something even like memes kind of jump into this as well. And then throwing into the unique twists of the bonus round, where you're basically making the own comic, your own comic with just this card being the ending. And having these cards be most likely ending cards is a nice way to add a little twist to the game. I really, really like this game. This is a game that I'm more than happy to play. I didn't know if I was going to be happy to play it. I knew I loved Cyanide and Happiness. I loved their humor, their sense of humor and their jokes and whatnot. And I can easily say, if you've ever seen Cyanide and Happiness comics and you enjoy those, they make you laugh, this is a game for pretty much anybody in the fan base to grab because you're making your own stuff and you can see these things that you've placed together being part of the actual comic strips themselves. So 
hands down no brainer if you're interested in any cyanide and happiness, then Joking Hazard is a strong, strong game. For those of you who are not people who know about cyanide and happiness, uh, do you like these old, like Sunday morning newspaper type comic strips where you can make your own? Do you enjoy Cards Against Humanity? Because it does have a little flair of that type of a game or apples to apples. This is adult rated content. There's a lot of adult themes and suggestions in here, so not for kids. Unless you got some young teens who you want to impress as a parent, I guess. But I do not condone it. But uh, it's it's great. This is a really cool little game. I'm going to keep this game. This game is in my collection for a party game. I'll play this over most of my other judging card games. Uh, I really, really like Joking Hazard. If you're interested, there's a link down below. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Joking Hazard by Side on Happiness and Explosum. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, could could be wrong, but if you're interested, there's a link down below, like I said. And if you've watched more than one of our videos, if you find us interesting or me personally interesting, I, I shaved just for you, then you can go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification button as well. And if you'd like, we have a live stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST where we play games. Like in fact, last night we played Isla. So if you're interested in that one, go ahead and pick it up. And we also go ahead and do a whatnot stream on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. PST where we sell games, we talk about games, we show up new and upcoming games and all that good stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I look forward to giving you some cyanide and happiness in your life next time.